Hey everybody, this is Brenda. Welcome to my craft spot. This is my third time trying to make this video. So hopefully, uh, the third time's a charm. So we'll see. I want to share a journal that I've made using Pastor's Wife uh, DigiPrints. She's on um, Instagram and she's on, she's got a YouTube channel. And I will try and, uh, I told her I would link her uh, information down in the description box. Uh, so I, if you will, go check her out, please. Okay, so let's get into this journal. I love sunflowers. Most of you know that. If you know me, you know that. Um, so I picked out, uh, she gave me the opportunity to use one of her digi kits. Uh, to work on and to share what I've made and thank you Jennifer for allowing me to do that so the one I picked out was my sunflower journal because well I love sunflowers and I'm going to use this as a prayer journal you can use it for whatever because it's not specific uh, for anything but it has a lot of journaling areas Mo well all the pages are lined so you can journal on them but of course, I did add some background pages of Angela Kerr's, and I added some of my uh, coffee dyed paper. Um, but anyway, so I, I made this tassel, and the tassel's made out of um, shredded, um, thinly shredded um, vintage sheet that I had. And the reason I used it is because it's got the yellows and the blues that's in the journal. And also added some lace, pink lace, blue lace, and then there's a piece of trim there that I've used. But anyway, so that's the tassel. The ring is pretty big. I don't like using this big of a ring, but this is the only ring that I could find at the present time. So I'm using that for right now. I will probably change that out to a smaller ring when I get some. But anyway, and I'll, the closure is just... Uh, I think it's called, I'm not, it's not called a bulldog clip, but you see what kind of clip it is. It's mainly the clips that you put on paperwork whenever you work in an office or whatever. And I don't know what they're called, but they're called, they're clips. So anyway, I closed it with this. It probably won't continue to, it will, probably won't always be that. It's just, I haven't decided what kind of closure I want to use. So for right now, that's what I'm using. Okay. On the front, she gives you the cover. And on this cover, you see the sunflower. It says, My Sunflower Journal. Beautiful color. You open it up. She gives you the inside cover as well. Um, I made a pocket here. And I figured, I thought, uh, well, that's letting all my southern come out. I figured. Um, I thought I would uh, make a pocket there so you can store... Uh, notes or pictures or whatever you make your journal for uh, ephemera memorabilia whatever you make your journal for but like I said I'm gonna use it as a prayer journal but anyway so they're beautifully lined papers and she had, she includes washi tape um, into the kit so I put that on my coffee dyed paper and I made some tabs with the washi tape and here's a uh, spread of two of the journal pages and I made a I made a tuck spot out of a corn out of the corner of a coffee dyed envelope that I create that I did and I used some of the washi tape there to hold down that little flap that I turned over Here's another page. Like I said, there's lots of journaling space. This is a coffee dyed coffee filter. Coffee dyed paper. Uh, Angel Kerr background. Uh, avocado background. And here is a uh, altered paper clip um, that I made using her 
uh, cutout, and I think she calls it in the kit, she calls it a uh, paper clip. So it's two pieces for the paper clip. There's another one with beautiful pages. Like I said, her pages are beautiful. Another washi tape tab. Another beautiful page. And see how the blues, she brought in the blues. Here's two more corner tucks that I made using the uh, coffee dyed envelopes that I did. And I just used some of her embellishments, her um, cut apart, cut apart and um, uh, fussy cut. This is one, uh, one sunflower, full sunflower, and I fussy cut and then I cut it in half and I used it on half of it on this one. And I use uh, the other half. You'll see the other half later on in the journal. And this is some um, quotes from Angela Kerr. It says, bright sunflowers never fade. And there's another couple of pages of the DigiKit. Background of Angela Kerr's washi tape that I put on the lined um, school paper that I coffee dyed. Uh, this is another either you could fussy cut those small pieces out or you could use it as washi tape. I didn't feel like fussy cutting those small pieces, so I used it as, I didn't even use it as washi tape. I just used it as a belly band. And I took one of the fussy cut sunflowers and put in the center there, along with one of my coffee dyed envelopes. Another journaling page, the sunflower journaling page. And here's another quote from Angela Kerr, golden sunflowers. I made a pocket out of the envelopes. I had coffee dyed several envelopes and the the flap had stuck together when I coffee dyed them. I, I didn't open them up before I coffee dyed them. So they were sealed shut. So I made, I made uh, pockets out of them since I couldn't open them up. Here's a beautiful spread here. Another tab here with the washi tape. Another beautiful page. Here's another uh, washi tape that I used as a belly band on the coffee, coffee dyed coffee filter. Here's some tickets that comes in the kit. Another page there. Another beautiful page there. And here's the center, beautiful center spread. Um, this is raffia that I I did the signature. I sewed in the signature with raffia. And I don't think I'm going to keep them as wild like this. I think I'm going to tame them down some with, with something, some kind of embellishment of some sort because I don't like them wild like that. But anyway, so that's sewn in with the raffia. Another beautiful page. Another envelope pocket. The road to freedom is bordered with sunflowers. Another one of those quotes. Another beautiful page. Here's another quote that I made out of, po out of a pocket. It says, rise and shine. Another fussy cut sunflower. Another beautiful page, simple but beautiful. Another envelope, pocket, tuck, that's got one of her tags in it from the kit. Another beautiful page. I believe this is one of my favorites. Got the bees and the sunflowers. Another beautiful page. Some of those pages are very simple, simplistic. Uh, but um, very pretty. And who doesn't like a lot of journaling space? And besides, you always add things to your journal anyway. So by the time you add the different components in your journal, you've got a nice size journal. And I decided this is the first slimline journal that I've done in a long, long, long time. But I, I love the way it turned out. 
And Jennifer, I hope you do too. Another washi, washi tape tab. There you go, another layout there. This is an applique that I had in just a little one of the little bits and piece uh, drawers that I had. I had I t uh, tore the little spot there, so I said, man, I said, I don't feel like printing out another page to try and get that get this done. So I looked in my stash, and because it had a little flower there, I, I covered it up. So, you know, in crafting, there's no mistakes in crafting. So there you go. Another beautiful page. She's brought in the blues, and there's a little purple in there. Another beautiful page, and on the bottom it says sunshine. Another belly band I made with a strip of the washi tape. Let me just put a strip of the washi tape here on the edge of that page. Here's another coffee dyed coffee filter, and I had some appliques, beautiful appliques from, um, I want to say this one is from uh, Crafty Me Shop. Another beautiful journaling page. Made another corner tuck out of, the, out of a coffee dyed envelope. Fussy cut a sunflower. Glued it on there. And here's a ticket that I've stuck in there from the kit. Another. Here's that other hat for that sunflower in that little tuck spot. Another ticket. And here's another pocket that I uh, used of the coffee dyed envelope with one of the little cutouts in our kit. There we go. Beautiful pages. Another washi tape tab. Angela Kerr background design. Another coffee dyed paper. There's the back page. And I used, I did this differently. Instead of using the whole sheet as being like this, I cut it in half and used this as a pocket. And it says, Made with Love. And I used one of Angela Kerr's uh, background designs. So that's, there's a pocket there. And here's the back. So I kind of spliced it together because it it made a bigger journal. I mean, I could have cut it down some. I mean, I shrunk it down some, but I didn't. I wasn't thinking when I printed them out. But anyway, I just made it work. I overlapped. This is supposed to be the spine. So what I did is I just uh, folded it over and added this back piece, cut it down, and added the back piece, glued it so it's not open or anything there. So that's the, the back. And as you can see, there's the raffia. Sewed the signature in with the raffia. And I sewed all the way around the journal. Before I even put the journal together, I sewed the whole complete cover all the way around. And that is my sunflower journal. And like I said, it's from Pastor's Wife digi prints so go over there and check her out and tell her brenda sent you from my craft spot and you all have a wonderful day and the rest of your week and god bless bye for now